Hey, so in this video, I want to let you know how you can practice your saxophone and listen to an audio track at the same time. Now, this is the way I recommend most people do this. Use your cell phone, download the app called AnyTune Pro. So you can download this app, it'll let you play your audio back. And I'll show you how to do that. You press this button right here, and then you can suddenly start hearing your voice. You can hear your saxophone, and it's using the iPhone microphone. Now you're listening to me through the cell phone. One issue that I have using this is that I hear a clicking sound when I talk, and that might just be my cell phone. Let me know if you try this out. There's a free version of this app, so let me know if you're having that same problem. But I hear clicking sometimes when I listen through my cell phone. <laughs> So for most people, I would recommend doing it this way, using your cell phone and just plugging your headphones in and playing along. That's perfect. But if that clicking sound is a problem for you, if there's any issue with your cell phone, you might want to use a professional device. And for that, the first thing I can recommend is a recording device with at least four channels. This is my audio interface. It's from Tascam. So now I have an audio splitter that's going to get me two channels that are going to come out of the cell phone and into the recorder. Now we just need to add the saxophone and we're good to go. Some audio recorders actually have microphones built into them. So on this one, I could just start playing and you would hear my saxophone. Also, if you have a saxophone mic, you can use that, plug that into a channel of the recorder as well. <laughs> positives of this, you can hear things on separate channels, you're not going to get weird clicking, you're not going to get any latency, so that's perfect. There's one other way that I would do this, and that would be to use an audio interface with the computer. So if you're going to use audio with your computer, I would recommend most people to use the Focusrite Scarlett, and you can use that even if it only has one input, you just need the input for your saxophone. This is what I use, it's a Focusrite Sapphire, so you just plug your cell phone into channels 1 and 2. So as long as you have everything plugged in, including your saxophone mic, you can see levels and you can hear everything and you can hear the saxophone. The biggest benefit of using your computer for something like this is that you can use effects. So it's great to be able to hear yourself in any situation and also listen to backing tracks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and also leave a like under the video. Thanks, I'll see you next time.